Yeah, it's 5 a.m. minus uh, 10 degrees Canadian, and uh, this movie is all about wiener toast. But first. <laughs> to do because uh, I forgot my gloves and I'm freezing my fingers off. <laughs> There's my wiener toast challenge. Hey honey, do you want to eat some wiener toast tonight? Wiener toast? You don't know what wiener toast is? It's like grilled cheese. Wiener. I'm gonna make some wiener toast, okay? You want some wiener toast? Do I? Some mortadello. Some bread butter. I figured I'll put some mortadella for the wiener. This should work. Alright, so cheese away. What is up, everybody? Welcome back. It is Monday, which, as you know, means photo assignments. For photo assignment number 14, we are going to do... Now, this is going to be more of a challenge than in a specific technique or exercise that we're going to go through. And remember, the whole point of photo assignments is to challenge yourself creatively in how you think. I know it seems like it might be easy, but really push yourself to go beyond that. And I want to show you some examples today of some things that you might think about that I think have been done pretty well in the historical context of... And there's a lot of techniques that go into that, and I want to look at some famous examples that most of you guys are probably already familiar with. What I think is interesting is he approached these with a very organic sensibility, and so sometimes there's a metaphor for other organic shapes you might associate these with. Maybe it's something like the human figure. Uh, whatever that is, it has this kind of, I guess, almost personification uh, into an object that it's representing, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, there's a real, lot of really neat qualities to these, because when you start to look at this, you start to see these forms and these shapes in here that are very organic. Whatever that is, it starts to have this metaphoric personified quality to it where it leads your mind into other places. And I think that's when this is done very successfully. That organic quality and what that might suggest um, to the viewer, I think, is what makes these very interesting. This is something that you see a lot, uh, particularly in art of this time, almost these erotic qualities. But I think that's interesting because I think that's what we are drawn to when we start to see these things, is we start to look at the shapes and then what that relates to. And it becomes very psychological in a certain sense. These are really interesting examples to look at. Winner toast. Another whose work I absolutely love, is, and it's really interesting to see what he did too. And they're very simple, but because the simplicity and really the way it came down for him was just an approach to composition. Not all of these are foods, but it's really interesting. Okay, now that you've been properly warned. Here is my hashtag winner toast submission. I think that's somebody that you could draw a lot of inspiration from. I decided to do a 
plant-based version. He had a very different approach, uh, almost more of a past master style where there are other elements and maybe the apples or the fruit or whatever that is become a part of that. And, you know, there's also other elements that add interest into this too, like, you know, moisture. And it's just a very different approach. I think it was a perfect storm, if you will, creatively to be able to insert some really adventurous things into what was going on. And that is highly experimental. And I think that, and I think that's where you start to see some really interesting things, whatever that work was, cooking or something like that. What I think the takeaway here, and this is what I want you guys to get out of this, is I think you're going to be most successful with anything when you finally find a way to do something new and different that pushes you creatively into that direction that you haven't done before. Something that's not trend-based, something that's not style-based. And it's a really interesting example of where we see that. And it's not easy to do, I get that. It's really difficult. So I hope that gives you a little bit of inspiration and maybe a reference point on where to start with some ideas on here. Like I say on every photo assignment, push yourself to do different things. Um, if you have a shot that you know you can execute on, for instance, go ahead and get a good shot out of that. But then push yourself to do something you haven't done before or maybe you're not so sure you can succeed on because that's one of the keys to not just but anything in life really creatively is that giving ourselves permission to fail is okay and because you're not going to have success without failure first of all and the other thing is if you don't make mistakes then you have nothing you can learn from and so those are things that are really key into move, allowing your work to move forward. <laughs>
That's putting um, a hor horse to good use. <laughs> Look at that cheese. The perfect slices is the secret to a good winter toast. You know, seeing your work, those are some of my favorite videos. So the work is really improving and I, I, I love that. And I love that it's moving in that direction. Make a YouTube video. You put a hashtag Wiener Toast in the title and in the tags where you make your version of the Wiener Toast. Yeah. The Wiener Toast, it's basically a grilled cheese, but there's something inside that constitutes uh, the term Wiener. I'm gonna let you guys know, I'm going to be doing along with you guys in these photo assignments. So you gotta follow me on Instagram if you wanna see that. I'll put my username below. And uh, so we'll be working on that. Now, another thing I wanna mention is the deadline on this. So Thanksgiving is this week. I'm going to be traveling at the end of the week. I'm going up through Chicago and then into the great state of Indiana. And so the likelihood of me actually getting the video done by next Monday is pretty slim. So what I'm gonna do is allow you two weeks on this, but I'll give you a full two weeks to work on. So that would put your deadline at December 2nd, 2017. So anyway, December 2nd will be the deadline. So anyway, if you are new to the show, you have no idea what photo assignments are. We do them every Monday. And basically I give you an assignment. It allows us to all participate. And then I feature the best work in the follow-up video. Stay tuned this week, subscribe, all that stuff. So you'll be up to date. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, later. <laughs>